Well, quitting RVing is definitely harder <laughs> than starting RVing. Most definitely. By a lot. More painful process. It's I been believe. ebbs and flows, though. Ebbs and flows. It has. Some some really smooth stuff, and then some stuff that's not so smooth. Yeah. Right now we're running into some stuff that's not so smooth. Yeah. So it's a little bit frustrating. Yeah, because like we had a buyer for the rig. Yep. Then we didn't. Exactly. It wasn't working for him, out, so he couldn't take it. Then we're like, oh crap! Now we gotta start over again. But then we had a buyer right away, twenty four hours. We're yeah. like, hey, we're back Yay. on a high. But now that's having problems. Yeah, you know, and the, here's the issue with that. The issue is they got approved for the financing. Yeah. But their bank won't accept a third-party application, which basically means their bank buys the RV from our, our bank. bank, and then the title goes to their bank. They have trust issues. They have, they have trust <laughs> issues. They have a policy. They don't do that. Most banks do it. Yes, yeah, it's a normal practice. It happens all the time. Most people can't just buy an RV outright, so we can't afford to just pay off the RV grab the title and then give and it, to it to them yeah and they don't have the money to buy the rv outright so um they have to they have to finance right. it and we have to get out of our lien yeah so now they're trying to find a bank that will do the application yeah. form so we actually tried to get them to just go through the bank that just we assume financed. our loan just assume our loan yeah and our bank wouldn't do it because they don't bank in the state that they're from yeah lo and behold jersey is one of the states they don't bank with so they're like, we don't give loans to people who are not in one of the states that we bank in. Unless it's like a home loan or home equity loan. Home equity, They don't do yeah. RV loans out of out of the state. So yeah. that didn't work out. They had to go through another finance company. So now we're waiting, we're waiting on that. On approval. that. Yeah. And then we get... A, Riding that way. Yeah. So let's go to the house <laughs> part of it. So the house part's actually been going really, really well. And the, the closing well. date has getting closer and closer because they kept moving it up the the seller's like we want to get out a little faster is that okay we're like absolutely yes let's do it as quickly uh -huh. as possible we want to yeah. get out of here we want to start you know getting our stuff in there making it on our own and we had not run into any snags in the house no. until today until today now we are four days from closing yes so i felt it was safe to start ordering some things mm -hmm. because what I need to order showed that it would be not be delivered till next week anyway. Yeah. So I'm like, it's safe to go ahead and place my orders. They'll start showing up next week and then we can get some stuff done before we have to go to the finale rally. So a lot of furniture on the way, mattress on the way, a lot washer of and dryer. washer and dryer. We have you know stuff scheduled like furniture and to I be delivered. And I literally ordered that stuff yesterday. Yesterday. So it would be here in a week. Well, let me take you back a few days to one week before our closing date. Yeah. Mortgage company comes through. Everything's good. They're ready to close. Rates locked in. We're good to go. Everything's good. All the inspections, the termite inspection, the inspection, the appraisal. Everything's good. <laughs> everything's done. Yeah. And then after that is sent to us, our realtor goes, okay, what are you guys doing for the septic inspection? And I'm like, uh, when we sold our house, it was on us. It was on the seller. Seller. To do Which it. traditionally it is on the seller. And... But apparently not with this. Apparently quote. it was written in our contract that the buyer was responsible for the for septic the inspection. inspection. And I was like, well, if we would have had this information weeks ago, that would have been great. Yeah, I did not pay attention to it. So, so yeah. And so I was like, this is the first we're hearing of this. And so our realtor was like, oh, we, she's should, like, we should have brought this up to you. She's like, we usually have a talk with the, with our our buyers you know, did we not talk with you or no. like no so this is first we're hearing it we're yeah. waiting from closing and she's like we feel bad we feel like we dropped the ball we didn't tell you guys about it and so we're gonna go ahead and take care we'll of the, pay for the we'll pay for the inspection of the septic so we're like cool it's the house is only three years old so we're like oh crisis averted it's good well yeah. she said we'll have the report back this week because we they called us on a monday and I'm, like, and I'm like yeah the whole work week it'll definitely yeah. get done we're good we'll be good to go yeah she called us today which is a wednesday before we close on Monday. Yeah. And she says, septic inspection failed. Yeah. There's an issue with the septic. Mm -hmm. One of the products that we used a lot when we were RVers mm -hmm. was the Active Controls plug and play soft start capacitor and surge protector, especially before we got our lithium and solar set up. Exactly. It's super easy installation. You simply just plug it into your RV and pedestal and you're good to go. 
this allows you to run one air conditioner on 15 amps, mm -hmm. two air conditioners on 30 amps, and almost anything that you want on 50 amps. And the best part about it is, if you ever trade your RV or sell your RV, you can take this device with you. Yeah. It has two soft start circuits, so if one shuts down or has an issue or pops a breaker, then the other one continues to work for you. It's got 5,250 joules of surge protection. And it has an easy to use app that goes right to your phone and shares all the information that you need to safely run all your electronic devices across your whole RV. Best of all, five year limited warranty. And we can save you 10% by using the code THOMAS at checkout. The details and link to Active Control's website is in the description of this video. So make sure you go over and check it out. And I don't know exactly what the issue is because after she said we have an issue and the septic failed, all I heard was womp, 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 bad, 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 not good, not good. Apparently, it's leaking somehow because yeah. it's overflowing into the soil. So it has to get repaired. Now, yeah. we don't know how this is going to impact us because... Well, at first we panicked because we are like, we can't close on Monday. There's no way this is getting remedied. And then if it gets pushed too far... Then we can't do it till we get back from the RV rally. And I'm like, I just yesterday ordered stuff to start showing up at the house. And if he still owns the house, stuff's going to show up. And then when <laughs> our, our stuff's going to be there, we're not. Yeah, and I was like, this is not happening right now. we got to call back and reschedule for the washer dryer, the couches, delivery, all that stuff. Oh, man, so I don't know how fast they can fix it, Yeah. how bad the issue is. But we called our mortgage company, and the mortgage company says, we don't require the inspection we don't for, care. for your loan. We're good to close They're on like, Monday. Yeah, he was like, if you still want to close on Monday and just do a written agreement that the seller's going to have it, you know, fixed or yeah. paid for so it, it'll get fixed and you guys still want to move in before it's fixed, that's your prerogative. I was like, okay, yeah. well, well, maybe we'll go, come back out of the yeah, water. Maybe, maybe we'll come back out. So we're waiting to hear back from that. But it's just, it's just been a roller coaster back and forth. Yeah, with I hate last on. minute problems. Yeah. So the, the smooth part was we got we got here and the truck and RV went up for sale and the truck was gone. Gone in a heartbeat. And we had a buyer fast for the RV. But yeah. then it was like, fell through. Oh, yeah, we got it back. Oh, we got an issue. Oh, we're close <laughs> on the house. Oh, no, we're not. No. <laughs> well, maybe we are. Yes. We're, we're halfway back up the hill because maybe we are. I don't know. It's just a roller coaster, man. It is a roller coaster of emotions. It's so much easier to go on the road because you're like, sell your stuff and I'm out. Yeah. And... To me, I'm dying to know what is wrong with this septic because we were the first owners of our home here that we sold. Only a couple neighborhoods away from where this neighborhood yeah. is. So I know all the builders are probably pretty the same throughout this area. They buy land. And, and the build. soil's the same. The drainage is the, yeah. same. It's the same. We had our house for seven years and they say every five to ten you should have it pumped out depending on the yeah. usage. So it was required that we did it. And we did have it pumped out, even though they said it was great, looked good, but just go ahead and do it since it's at that seven year mark. Yeah. You're going to need it anyway, soon. So I don't know what these people have been doing. They've been throwing like <laughs> rolls of paper towels down the shitter <laughs> or something. I don't Three know. Three years and it's overflowing. So was it either too small of a septic? Kids. Kids. But he said his wife's been in Florida for a That's year. True. So I don't know. I don't know. What, but I'm dying to see the final report. Or else this dude's laying down some law. <laughs> serious. Stop it. Call Guinness. <laughs> no. Uh, <hold> Stop. <laughs> or it has a crack in it somewhere. Yeah. And that's why. That can happen. I mean, the earth can shift. It can. But those things are yeah. supposed to be pretty durable. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know anything about I'm curious. Tanks. Yeah. But. But anyway, we just thought we would share yeah. our roller coaster of emotion it's that been we were on. a long on. day. But we'll keep you updated and informed on everything that's going on. And it, it, it frustrated me even more. I mean, I love our agent. She's great. But I'm like, man. <laughs> but. <laughs> but still. If she would have mentioned this sooner. Yeah, we would have been taken care of. We, we knew it was our responsibility. And, and they had the talk that they thought they had with us the first week. Because yeah. apparently it was supposed to be during the first week. And we would have been on it. And that would have been done, caught sooner, and already fixed. Already fixed. So, I hate that it got down to five days before closing, and it's, oh, we haven't done this yet. And it that's turns out that that's and the only a, issue that we've had the entire time. Yeah. Like, And it Lord happens at 13th hour. Yeah. So, it's a bummer. It's just, yeah. But, I mean, I'm okay moving in. 
as long as it's getting fixed. Yeah, and I just don't know if we do. As move long as in, we're allowed to move in. Yeah, I don't know how long like, it takes to fix. Can we move in and still use the plumbing? Yeah, because you, you <laughs> might be without plumbing for a week or two. So I don't know how. I don't know how we're. I don't know anything about septic tanks. I don't know. Yeah, but. might be getting a camp toilet. <laughs> <laughs> well, at this rate, we'll I still have. I want to live in my house. I know, but at this rate, we'll we'll, we'll still have the RV because that won't be worked out yet. So yeah. we might still be have a house over there and living over here. Just go, we can go to the bathroom. Lord help me, oh, God, it's just. We have to laugh. Russ will cry. That's right. But it's all gonna work out. I mean, yeah, it is. It's just the time frame now shifts, and I don't like that. Yeah. I I liked that we were. It's been moved up twice, and I've loved it. I'm yeah. like, hey, all right, we're getting in sooner. And they're like, hey, can we bump it up again? Absolutely. Let's bump it up again. I'm ready. <laughs> Tank. <laughs> bump the brake. So we just came on here to let you know that if you are going to be coming off the road, get ready. Buckle up, buttercup, <laughs> because the ride is a little bumpy. It's a little jolting. Yeah. To say the least. <laughs> we'll keep you updated along the way. Uh, we got a bunch of exciting stuff coming up. We're going to be moving into the house. We're going to be moving out of the RV. We're going to watch our RV roll off for the very last time. A yeah. bunch of cool and exciting stuff coming up for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're very excited to be back here with the grandbaby and, the, and our daughter and spend some time with them. So we'll keep you updated. We'll let you know how it goes, mm -hmm. whether we're up here or down here. <laughs> oh, my God. And hey, stick around for just a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.